Our village has just received a set of recycling bins, the first ones we've seen in the neighborhood. The idea is that sorting the paper, plastic, or metal will make the materials easier to reuse in the future. If you could see some of our polluted beaches here, you'd be thankful as I am that at least somebody is trying to reuse the trash. There's also a new word for a creative use of rubbish, junk, and trash. Instead of recycling, they call it upcycling, where trash is transformed into something useful or interesting. As I was thinking about this and working on this week's project, I was reminded of some spiritual truths about our Christian faith. There is a way in which a piece of rubbish cannot be reused or transformed until it is recognized for what it is something that is in need of transformation. Think about the beginning of our relationship with God through faith in Jesus Christ. As our Lord said in the Gospels, He came as a shepherd to save the lost sheep. He came as the great physician to heal, heal the spiritually sick. But for those who believed that they were fine and safe in their own righteousness, they could not be saved. They could not be transformed because they did not admit their need of transformation and salvation from their sins. Every person who comes to saving faith in Christ must recognize and confess that they are sinners in need of forgiveness. To use this week's metaphor, to realize that in our sinful state apart from God, we were like refuse, like rubbish, good only to be cast away. But amazingly, when we recognized our need of a Savior and admitted our sins and asked for rescue, God accepted us in Christ, and the work was finished by Him and not by us. God accepted us in Jesus Christ, our souls were rescued, and our lives began to be transformed. The principle still holds in our daily walk with God. If we look at ourselves too highly, too proudly, too self-confidently, we cannot be transformed into the image of Christ's likeness. But when we see our natural selves for what we are, persons in desperate need of transformation, God is able to work something wondrous out in our lives. And what this means is that perhaps this week or in days past, if you've experienced some humbling experiences, if you've struggled with sin, if you've had failure and you've needed to come to God and confess your sins asking for forgiveness, if you've realized that you are not all that you thought you once were and that you're not as perfect as you believed yourselves to be, this can actually be a good thing as it brings you back to having a proper self-esteem in light of God's help and His grace. When we admit we have no wisdom, we are able, as James chapter 1 says, to then ask of God, and it shall be given unto him. given him. In admitting that we are lowly and of little worth, we allow God to exalt us in due time. In admitting that we have no strength for the tasks before us, we find, as Paul found, that God's grace is sufficient for us and that God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. So it is with us, just as we admit that we are nothing in ourselves, that is when we allow God to make something of us. Unsaved friend, if you will admit your need of Him and come to Him for forgiveness, He can save you and create something wonderful out of your life. Christians, let's remember who began this good work in us and humble ourselves again today so that the transforming work from trash to treasure can continue in us. Let us remember the words of Paul who found that when we recognize our weakness, God's strength is fully able to be seen. And let us also remember 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 that says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new.